Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Hope you guys are doing well this evening. It is currently Wednesday night, about 6 p.m. Um, welcome to another preview for the um, 2020 season. We're going to be previewing the D Newcastle Knights for the 2020 season tonight. Um, yeah, so let's just go straight ahead. But before I start, I want to give a couple of shout-outs to a couple of Fantastic YouTube content creators. We give a shout out to um, NRL Vids 090, Dean Sullivan, The Bundy Chick 82, Warriors NRL Fanatics, uh, CJ Moxley, who just started YouTube as a South supporter, um, and The Entertainer House as well, and another channel called Bangkok Diaries, one of my mates over in Thailand. Bangkok, I think it is. Um, go and check him out. He's been doing a lot of, um, you know, virus videos at the moment, walking around Bangkok and whatnot. So um, go and check his channel out as well. And yeah, so let's just get straight into it. the preview for the Newcastle Knights for the 2020 season. So that's, they have a f bloody decent roster too, to be fair. So let's just go through that 1-17 to that I've selected that I think is Newcastle's best team. So, fullback. Now, so some of these guys are going to be out when they when the NRL return. So, um, the, you know, when the players are back from injury, from injury and suspension, this this is the team I would go with. Fullback, Kalen Ponga. On the wings, Edric Lee and Heimel Hunt. In the centres... Bradman Best and Tautai Moga. 5'8", Phoenix Crossland, halfback Mitchell Pearce. The front row, David Clemmer and Daniel Saifidi. The hooker is Connor Watson. The second row is Lachlan Fitzgibbon and Mitch Barnett. The lock is Tim Glasby. And on the interchange bench, Jacob Saifidi, Herman Essi Essi, Aiden Guerra and Kurt Mann. Obviously, um... Excuse me. Kalen Ponga will be out the first the first game back due to the um, a one week suspension, and Jaden Braley is injured. So I'm not a hundred percent sure when Jaden Braley will be back, but from what I've been hearing, he will be back before the season ends. So you can pretty much guarantee he'll take take the hooker position. But until then, I believe Connor Watson is the man for the job. What do the Knights lack for 2020? I think. The injury to Jaden Bradley may hurt them a little bit. You know, I think at the moment, they've got a couple of guys there playing out of position. I think Connor Watson may be a, a good may be, um, good there at hooker. He can do the job, Jay, um, Connor Watson. Very solid player. But I think they'll really miss Jaden Bradley. Um, it obviously sucks to lose him for the first, uh, for a while anyway. Um, I think Newcastle lacks some strike centers as well. They don't really have any good centers that really stand out. I think I think Bradman Best is the future, but in saying that, he's only a rookie. He's only a kid still. I think he has potential to um, uh, lock up a starting spot in the centers. Um, I think Moga will probably get a crack as well. I think he is a decent player, but like I'm saying just now, you know, there's not much strike there. There's no. Um, there's no strike center in that's in the center for Newcastle, so that could be something that they could lack going forward. Maybe they should go to the market and um, maybe try and get someone like Nick Kotrick from Canberra, or maybe try and get a Kuliyawade back for Newcastle. Try and get him back in the NRL. I understand he does want to come back, so you know Newcastle will probably lacking another winger as well. Um, I don't think Homel Hunt's a winger, but. There's not many options at Newcastle at the moment for his outside backs. I think Uwade could be a good fit at Newcastle, finish his career where it all started. You know, I don't think Newcastle have a shit backline or anything, you know. They've got some good players there in Ponga and Edric Lee. Moga, Moga can do some good things. Um, you know, they've got some good outside backs, but I think they're lacking a strike centre and maybe another winger. So, um, they probably lack a bit of... Bit of uh, strike there, Newcastle. Uh, what else? Oh, the other thing too is they only have really one side of attack, really. You know, I got Ponga and Pierce combining together. 
But that's pretty much it for Newcastle. That's the only attack they have is Pierce and Ponga. They lack that other side of attack. They probably lack um, another good half that can really um, combine a combination with the other side of the field. You know, I think Mitchell Pierce plays on both sides at the moment. He plays on the right, plays on the left. You know, Newcastle need to find that half that can play just one side and just attack that one side, you know. I think Phoenix Crossland can do the job. I think Mason Leno could do the job. Uh, Tex Hawley, I think, is a fullback, but why not? He could play him there. Kurt Mann isn't a 5'8", guys. Let me tell you now. And he was Connor Watson. Kurt Mann and Connor Watson are not 5'8", man. You can't convince me that they are genuine number sixes. They clearly aren't, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I think if Newcastle had, like, a Nick Kotrick-type player, they could really do some damage. You know, the thing with Nick Kotrick is he can play centers. He can play wing. He can cover fullback here and there. I think... If Nick Kotrick was on the market, Newcastle um, would absolutely suit Nick Kotrick. I don't see him leaving Canberra or anything, but he's from New South Wales, Nick Kotrick. Newcastle isn't far from, from you know, Sydney and whatnot. So, you know, if, not, if Nick Kotrick's on the market, hey, Newcastle, you should really tr throw some money at Nick Kotrick. Solid player. Anyway, well, what are the Knights gained for 2020? Well, I think they gain the coach, Adam O'Brien. I think he can um, really develop a, a solid roster here and make it his own. I know Nathan Brown made this roster his own, his own, and it took him three years to do it. And then he got sacked, but which was obviously quite sad. But Adam O'Brien's coming in, picking up the pieces, picking up this great roster. They also get Tyson Frizzell next year. 2021, they get Tyson Frizzell. That's a huge, that's a huge signing for the Newcastle Knights. I also believe that if if Mitchell Pearce and Kalen Pong is going to be the only attack they have, then I think Jaden Bradley may may run the ball for dummy half a fair bit now and try and create stuff for his own. But what I think they also gain is solid defence. Adam O'Brien really brings that defence to Newcastle. Obviously, Adam O'Brien. He did two years at Melbourne. He did two years at the Roosters as an apprentice, as an apprentice, or however the fuck you say it, as an assistant, basically. Did a great job. So he spent about four or five years in assistant coaching. Now he's a first-grade coach at a club that is on the way up. So full credit to, um, full, you know, full credit to Craig Bellamy and Trent Robinson for taking Adam O'Brien under their wing. And full credit to Adam O'Brien for getting their position at Newcastle, and I hope he has a great year, and I hope he does a great job with this roster, and I have no doubt he will. He has a fantastic roster here to play with. I mean, if I was coaching Newcastle, I'd have a fucking ball coaching Newcastle. they got a great roster. Whether you like them, whether you hate them, they have a great roster, man. So, you know, I see a lot of improvement from Newcastle this year. Uh, what else did I write down here that I can't forget about? Also, you know, like I said before about Jaden Bradley, he's, he's very important in this Newcastle side. When he comes back, you know, it's going to be a good thing. You know, we saw in the first two rounds that Newcastle, they can defend. They conceded zero points against a pretty average Warrior side, and they conceded 24 against the Tigers. Well, that game was high scoring. As Newcastle scored 20 points in round one and 42 in round two. So, you know... 62 points in the first two rounds from Newcastle is um, a massive positive. They know how to score points. They know how to defend. I think Newcastle really know how to do some good things this year. I think the key to Newcastle's success is obviously Mitchell Pearce. He's obviously the man that's going to guide this side around, control the team. He's the game management halfback. He's one of the best halfbacks in the world, Mitchell Pearce. He... Um, you know, he won the Origin Series for New South Wales last year, basically, when he threw that pass and we scored on the bell against Queensland. But Pierce is the key, along with Caelan Ponga. But Pierce is the main man. If Pierce is out injured for six to eight weeks, Newcastle are going to fall down the hill and go nowhere, in my opinion. But, you know, I believe Mitchell Pierce is injury free at the moment. He's got no, no little niggles, no injuries. So, should be good for Newcastle. Now, let, let's get to the predicted finish for Newcastle. I believe 2020 will be a great improvement year for Newcastle. 
Um, I believe they're going to be really competitive. I don't see Newcastle getting flogged much. I don't see them flogging sides very often. But um, overall, in my opinion, I think Newcastle this year are going to finish in 8th position on the ladder. I believe the Newcastle Knights will play finals football in 2020. They're already 2-0. It's a good start. Um, they are going to miss Jaden Bradley. They do lack a little bit of depth out wide. But look, what I'm saying is, Newcastle's forward pack, in my opinion, is one of the best in the competition. You've got Clemmer and Safiti up front, two state of origin props. You've got Tim Glasby at lock, who's a Queensland representative player. Mitch Barnett, who's extremely underrated, probably going to be a dark horse contender for New South Wales jersey. And Lachlan Fitzgibbon's another solid player. So, in my opinion, Newcastle's full pack is quite good. Their bench is solid with Jacob Saifidi, Herman Essiesi, some solid players there. Aiden Guerra, plenty of experience. Kurt Mann, can Kurt Mann could be the difference. Kurt Mann can come on the field. He can play pretty much any position you want him to. He's a really good utility player. Um, you know, Kurt Mann could play anywhere. He really could play him at wing. Fullback, centre, 5'8", hooker, lock. It don't matter. Kurt Mann could be the difference for Newcastle. I think Newcastle will play finals football in 2020. I think they'll finish in 8th position. I believe they'll just sneak in. Let me know in the comments below if you believe Newcastle can make the 8. Most people have Newcastle between 7 and 12. They're, they're going to be... You know those 6 sides that fought over those last 2 spots from 8... From 7 to 12, whatever. Newcastle going to be in that bunch. And I believe that Adam O'Brien will be a Coach of the Year contender. I believe they'll go really well this year. And they'll finish in 8th position. They'll play finals football. Mitchell Pearce could be the halfback of the year. Uh, who knows. But I think Newcastle are going to improve. Their forward pack is solid, really solid. And I believe they'll play finals football. Anyway, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think Newcastle will do this year. Let me know where you think they'll finish on the competition ladder. I believe they'll finish 8th. Um, that's pretty much it for the Newcastle Knights 2020 preview. I think they're going to have a good year. Newcastle Knights to finish 8th. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Go and subscribe to the YouTubers that I mentioned at the start of the video. Tomorrow night's preview will be... The South Sydney Rabbitohs tomorrow night. I'll do them tomorrow night. Get my preview on the South Sydney tomorrow night. So, hope you guys enjoyed my preview of Newcastle. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.